Arcs and Chords, explained by Justin D'Souza. The learning objective of this lesson is to solve problems using the relationships between arcs, chords and diameters. Arcs and Chords, here we have a set of theorems. There are four theorems which you must remember. The first one, as you can see in this figure, it tells that if FG, the arc FG is congruent to JH, if they are, if this chords have cut these arcs in such a way that these both arcs are equal, then these two chords will also be equal. This is the first theorem. So if FG and G, JH is equal, these two chords are equal, or if these two chords are congruent and then the arcs are equal. Now here we have this figure. They have told if AB is the diameter and it is perpendicular to the chord, if it's perpendicular, it's make 90, it makes 90 degrees, then to this particular chord, then it bisects this particular line. In the sense, it cuts into equal parts. XZ and ZY will be equal. And also the arcs are bisected in the sense the arc XB and BY. The next theorem says that if AB is a perpendicular bisector to this particular chord, that means it is cutting this X. Uh, x y line equal into two halves then a b must be a diameter now here we are told it's a diameter and then we told these both are equal but if in case if a b is a line that is cutting this into equal it's perpendicularly bisecting then it has to be a diameter or c b must be the radius the last theorem is about congruent chords now you can see in this particular circle or even if there is congruent circles if the chords are equidistant from, equidistant from the center, then they are equal. See, now this distance and this distance must be equal. So basically, if they are congruent, FG line and JH is congruent, if and only this line from X to L, from the set to the center, and Y to L must be equal. So these are the theorems. With this knowledge, we can easily solve these problems. Now here, JK is congruent to LM, that is JK, this chord, and LM are congruent. If LM, the arc LM is 75 degrees, what is JK? It should be 75 degrees. That's what we had seen in the previous theorems. It must be 75. Now, here we have the arc AB, sorry, the line AB and CD, they are congruent. So, if arc AB is 60, CD must be the same. In the example 2, we have been told the arc DE and FG are congruent. We need to find FG. That means this is the line FG. If they have not mentioned the arc, then it is to be the line. Now, we know if these arcs are equal, they have even mentioned in, uh, here there's a line and a line. That means these parts are equal in this figure. And they have given us DE is so much and FG is so much. We know they must be equal, isn't it? So all you need to do is equate them both. We have DE equals FG. So we can equate the values of DE, that is 2X plus 6, that is equal to YX minus 9. Now you can directly put in the calculator and find for X, or you can just solve it up. Numbers at one side will be 9 plus 6 equals 5X minus 2X. So it will be over here 15 equals 3x or x equals 15 by 3 is 5. So x value is found out. Please don't stop here. This is not the final answer. You got x 5. That's correct. But you need to substitute it back over here and find fg. You can even find d. It's the same equal, right? But let's do fg itself. fg, the line is equal to. 5x minus 9. So here 5x is again 5 minus 9. I'm sorry, this is 5. So it's 25 minus 9, that is 16. So this is your final answer. That is the length of the line segments. So first you need to find x and then you need to substitute and find for the particular line. Here also it's the same thing. Please do pause the video and do it by yourselves. I will just solve it over here as well. It's 5x minus 9 equals 2x plus 3. I just jumped into the answer, but you need to first read the question. 
Here the arc RS and TV are congruent. They need, we need to find the length RS. So they have given RS is 5x minus 9 and 2x plus 3. So equate them up and solve it. It will be 5x minus 2x equals 9 plus 3 because 9 goes to the other side becomes plus. This 2x to the other side becomes minus. You have 3x equals 12 and x is equal to 3, 12 divided by 3 would be 4. So this is the x value. And now here you can just substitute an RS. RS is equal to 5x minus 9. And so what happens is 5 into x is 4 minus 9. 5 times 4 is 20 minus 9. That is equal to 11. So that's the answer. 11 units. And then we have over here the example 3. Here they have given us the measure of arc EFG. They have asked us to find the arc, measure of arc FG and the line EG. That's the core. Here in the figure, we need to see and realize which theorems can be used. You can see over here, there is 90 degree. That's very important. And this is a radius. So what happens if this is a perpendicular bisector, this radius and this both must be bisected. That means if this is 3.5, this is also 3.5. And whatever is the arc over here is also bisected. Now we know EFG, the total arc is 120 degrees. It will be bisected to 60 degrees and 60 degrees. So here now what has been asked? The measure of arc FG, that's over here, right? So FG is 60 degrees. Very simple. Now what is EG? We know this is 3.5, this is 3.5. The total will be 3.5 times 2 or add these both, it will be 7 units. So this must be the final answer, 60 degrees and 7 units. Let's see, 60 degrees and 7 units, that's the answer. You can try this problem by yourselves and then check for the answers in the explanation. Here we have been told PQR is 90, 90 degrees. What do we need? Only PQ, that will be 45 degrees. And what about PR? PR is unknown. Over here we know TR is 6. This is also 6 because it's a perpendicular bisector, QS. And this is the diameter. And over here it's 90. That means it bisects equally. So here we would have PR, that is 12 units, and PQ, that is 45 degrees. So that will be the answers, 45 and 12. We will move on to a real world problem. Records, that's a record player. The record shown can be modeled by a circle. The diameter CD is 12 inches long. The chord over here, FH, is 10 inches long. Find EG. Let's see what exactly we know. We know this is the diameter, but let's write the radius over here from here to here. What's the distance? It's basically 6 because the total diameter is 12. So this will be 6 over here. What about the chord over here? The total chord is 10. So this will be bisecting, right? Since it's a diameter that I mentioned it, it will be bisecting over here. And this will be 10, 10 inches. So this is 10, this is 6. But we don't need that. We, uh, I mean, we don't need the entire thing. We just need... E and G, this is the distance we need, E to G. How would we how would we solve it? Now, I know that this is 90. All is 90 over here, isn't it? So what I can do is, if I connect this E and F, what do I get? Hypotenuse, because this is 90, so this is hypotenuse. And this hypotenuse is basically the radius. Because from the center, if I touch any of the any part of the circle, that will be the radius, right? So I know the radius is 6, so this is 6. This F and G is 10. And what is the unknown? Use Pythagoras theorem. I'm, I'm so sorry. This is not 10. It's 5 over here, the chord. Obviously, uh, any length cannot be more than hypotenuse. This one over here is 5. Let me just draw that over here like this. So we need EG. We know this radius EF is 6. And the chord, half of the chord is 5. So this is unknown X. So let's use the Pythagoras theorem that be the hypotenuse square will be equal to some of the other two sides. X squared plus 5 squared. I need X squared. So take 5 to the 5 squared to the other side. It will be 6 squared minus 5 squared equals X squared. 
6 squared is 36 minus 25, that's 5 squared equals x squared. Now here 36 minus 25, it would be 10 plus 1, it's 11 equals x squared. And the answer would be square root of 11, sorry, that is equal to x. You don't need to put plus or minus, it's understood this is a length. Length cannot be negative, hence it's positive itself. We will look into the answer over here. You can see there are plenty of ways to do it in detail. Whatever is written over here, that's more than sufficient. And you can see the answer would be root 11. That's the correct answer. Or you can press, uh, you know, in the calculator, you can type this out and check what is root 11. That is 3.32. So that's that's 3.32 inches long. Here, there's another real world problem. Do pause the video, give it a try and then continue watching. Steering devices provide drivers with more control and strength when turning a steering wheel. A technician is installing a steering device at point P. This is the point on the steering wheel shown. The steering device extends to point D. See, this device is extending to here. And the diameter of the steering wheel is 15 inches long. The diameter over here of the steering wheel is 15 inches. So how much is this? Half of that, it's 7.5. And over here, they are also told if chord SV, the seg line segment SV is 12 long and perpendicular to the diameter. So this is 90 degrees. What is the length of the steering device? So what is this length TP? They have told the entire chord is to a 12 inches. So half of it would be 6. This is 6 and this is 6. Here 7.5 and 7.5. We need to find TP. But before that, how do we find RT? We know this is 7.5. If you deduct this, we'll get the steering, uh, you know, the steering di uh, device, right? So what we do is we do the same method we just now did. Take the hypotenuse over here. It should be a straight line. This is 90. So hypotenuse would be the radius. This is 7.5. So all you need to do is 7.5 squared. That would be equal to some of the other two sides. 6 squared plus unknown value x squared. Take it to the other side, it'll be 7.5 squared minus 6 squared equals x squared. Let's use our calculators. Here you can just substitute it directly 7.5 squared minus 6 squared. That will be, um, okay, it's both a perfect square. So you should get a perfect square number. It'll be uh, 9 by 2, that is 4.5. So we use this whatever answer we get, is 20.25 just take the square root of this because there's square in the x the answer is 4.5 it'll be 9 by 2 basically so x value is 4.5 or 9 by 2 it was 81 by 4 which both are perfect squares so it'll be 4 by 2, 9 by 2 now here we found rt to be 4.5 what is the remaining length we know the total length is 7.5 minus 4.5 will give us TP, that is the steering device. Now, this is very simple. 7 minus 4 is 3. 0 0.5, 0 0.5 goes off. It's 3 uh, inches long. So, this is the answer. It should be 3 inches. That's it. And over here, we have the last uh, theorem and the last type of problem in this lesson. We, we have a circle where there are two chords. They're equidistant. You can see this is 8, this is 8. So if they're equidistant, then the chords must be equal. And they've given the values of the chords. That's PQ and RS. So just equate them and that's it. You you have to just find for X, not even solve for any length. So all you need to do is 3X minus 4 is equal to 14. And what happens over here? You can solve it. 3X is equal to 18. X is equal to 6. That's the answer. It's very, very simple. Why did we do this? Why did we equate them? Because this is 8 and this is 8. They're equidistant from the center. The chords are equidistant. So answer is 6. Same way over here. Now let's look over here. This is, they have, they have told over here, CE and FH are equal and they're equal to 48. So that means if these two chords are equal, then these two lengths must be equidistant. Only when the chords are equidistant or equal distance from the center, they can be equal. The chords can be equal. So they are already told chords are 48. Okay, so that means these must be equated, right? So it can be written as 
6x minus 3 is equal to 3x plus 6. Now you can solve it. 6x minus 3x is equal to 6 plus 3. Over here we have 3x is equal to 9 or x is equal to 3. But it is not to solve for x, it is to solve for pg. pg or dp, it's the same because both are equal. Now let's take pg value. pg is equal to 3x plus 6. And over here we know x is 3, so it will be 3 times 3 plus 6. It will be 9 plus 6, that is 15 units long. So that is the answer. And that's the end of this lesson. I hope it, it was beneficial for all of you. Please do subscribe to my channel. Please do like the videos if you have found it helpful. Please do share it with your friends. Subscribing, liking and sharing the videos is free to do. So please do it and that would mean so much to me. I, I would highly appreciate it. Until the next video, wish you all happy learning.